Perhaps the best laboratory for developing autonomous cars is the racetrack. If AI technology can make split-second decisions at high speed, it will work anywhere. And this, Robocar, hopes to be the first autonomous race car. It's at least a year away, and for the time being, a small team of software engineers is working on the prototype, DevBot. This is the state of the art. The motorsport of the future will be about racing algorithms rather than drivers. I love that we're here at the start of it. Today's mission is simple, to see whether it's Guy or artificial intelligence that can drive DevBot the quickest. I'm a bit nervous. I am a bit nervous, to be honest. When I'm sat there and the steering wheel's turning underneath me and the brake pedal's pressing and we'll, go, we'll, we'll be going, I'll be strapped in, of course. Yeah. Guy will be going for the fastest passenger ride in DevBot ever. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. The, the, the storm is coming. The storm's coming. Now, now wash your aids. Okay, don't have any. I'm after a bring. He's out the front. Okay, alright, mate. Great. Right. Right. Now, Bryn, I'm Guy. You alright, mate? Yeah, How's it going? Yeah, good, you. Bryn Balcom is the Robo Race Chief Technology Officer. Is it one computer? We've actually got two. So you've got a, a, an ECU that sits in the centre, which is the central brain. Yes. Yeah. So all of the settings, a uh, suspension as well, goes into that computer. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's, we kind of class that as almost like your, your cerebellum, so your, your small brain. Yes. Yeah, because it can react. Yeah. But it doesn't really know very much. Yeah, and then we talk about the other computer as being your cerebrum. So the other computer is really your, your thinking brain. It's like, right, what are you, you planning? How action. are you understanding the environment? Okay, what actions okay, do you okay. want to take? In terms of the core mass that goes into those algorithms, there's about 56 people in the world that can probably do that, that understand everything. How 56 you make a, people yeah, in the world. How you make a fully autonomous vehicle. And that's why those companies where those people work have been bought you know, for billions. Fry, <laughs> fry in my brain. <laughs> hey. The test will take place at Silverstone Stowe Circuit. Guy will go first to set the benchmark time. So I've got seven laps to get my eye in. And then I've got to go and do one flying lap to set a lap time. So no pressure. Guy is strapped into the car, and race engineer Rowan Reed briefs him on the essentials. So there's only really two things you want to worry about. You've got comms, that's talk to me. Yeah. And extinguisher. All good. Ready where you are, mate. Right. Thank you. All Guy has to do is press D for drive, then he can exit the garage on silent electric power. He takes the first few corners steadily before opening the throttle fully on the first straight. <laughs> there it goes. But as Guy increases the pace, he gets caught out. Oh, look at him. <laughs> it doesn't like you're carrying the brakes in. He just wants to push straight on. As his practice laps count down, Guy gets braver and goes even faster. He's looking good, isn't he? Smoother this time round. But he pushes too far. Oh, no. <laughs> Spare this, span it. And then he spins again. Okay, sorry about that. You can just feel that extra weight. You know, once it goes a little, it's just like a big engine just wants to take you all the way around. All right, guys, stop this run, please. Stop this run. Okay, yeah, keep coming forward. Keep coming in. Okay, start off. I had a few excursions. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. The time for practice is over. After a few checks, Guy will be sent out against the clock. It is 
quicker. It's got to be somewhere near top speed there, mate. He crosses the line, and there's only one thing on his mind. That is fast. Doesn't matter how fast electric car, that is fast, no matter what you've been in. It is fast. It is fast, sir. I can't believe how fast that is. Never miss a beat. Other than me spinning it a few times. Sorry about that. <laughs> do you want to know your lap time, guy? Go on, what, what did I do? You uh, 101.29. 101. I mean, this is me driving it. Let's see what it's like when it's automated. 